Okay, we're here with another super exciting video today on how to add your face or anything you want to a television screen. This effect is actually fairly easy to do in Vegas Pro and what you end up with is something like this. So this could be a movie or a fake news story or whatever you want to be playing on a television. It's very hard to film a television without getting some kind of flicker. And so this is one way to have complete control over what's appearing on a TV screen. So let's jump right into this. Of course, first you need some footage of a television screen. And this should be done on a uh, tripod so it's locked down. And then uh, we advise later going back and adding some camera shake. Then you drag the video that, or image or whatever you want to appear on the TV screen beneath that. So what we're going to be doing, and then you trim it to the same length, of course. Then you go into the pan and crop tool and you go to the anchor. Uh, of course, move that to the first position and then check mask. And then zoom in as best you can. And then you click the anchor creation tool. And here you try to get in, actually cut into the edge a little bit. You don't want any, uh, you don't want to be cutting into the actual TV screen. So just be really careful when you're placing your points there. You've only got to place four. So this really couldn't be too much easier. The, the trick is just making sure your edges are straight. And then when we click there, that completes the mask. So what we do is we actually need to uh, reverse this, but if you need to adjust your points, you can press control and then click and drag. So that's one way to move your anchor points. And then uh, once everything's looking pretty good, we need to invert this mask, so we're going to go and invert it to negative. And now there's our image. Now the one issue could be that the lighting from your, your, your video or your picture doesn't quite match or is brighter than what might appear on a TV. So you're just going to go into effects and go into brightness and contrast, add and OK. Uh, you can pull down the, the brightness there to make it blend into more of what it would look like. And that's pretty good. And this is this is kind of what it looks like. So this this is a fact that has a lot of potential uses. So uh, it's a really great uh, fact to know and to use. Now, one issue is that um, you can't always see because we masked it and we cropped in. We've lost a lot of our original video. So you can go into the the video track where your um, the media is that's going to appear on the TV screen and adjust the pan and crop so that you can bring in more of the image and you can really adjust it any way you want to. You can click and drag the, the image and by pulling out, you can zoom out, but you'll notice there I, I've gone too far. Uh, if you look on the, the monitor window, I've gone too far right there. So I just need to push back in and again, I can adjust it and tweak it any way I want. It may be that I want to just get this uh, a certain part of the video or draw attention to a certain part of the video. So one way to do that is by just manipulating this, this part of the image. And then you can bring more of the image onto the screen. Just be careful that once you see those black bars, you've, you've gone too far. And that's it. That's really it. This is a fantastic effect. I need this effect in on quite a few projects I'm working on. I was honestly surprised how easy it was to do. It's literally just clicking four points, that's it, and adjusting the lines. So in conclusion, there are a couple things we'll go over real quick here. Is uh, one, be sure the camera needs to be locked down. Uh, consider adding camera shake to sell the effect. And then you can use the pan and crop to allow more of the image or video that you're trying to show onto the TV screen. And don't use feathering for your mask. It's so close to the edge of a moving image, it doesn't look right and it shows through. So I, I hope you found this helpful and please subscribe. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.